The election board meeting right now to repair voting confidence and its ability to run an election. This after disastrous problems with absentee ballots and long lines during the primaries last month. Our CBS 46 special assignment reporter Sally Sears joining us with more and Sally some big news coming from them as well today. Karen, it's fascinating. The elections board is meeting right now in the virtually closed Fulton County Courthouse because two more county employees have tested positive for coronavirus. So they're not letting a lot of people in, but the board is meeting and the headline is more polling places and more absentee ballot handling, all to improve the results of that November presidential election, which is expected to have much higher turnout. The board chairman, Mary Carol Cooney, is pushing her colleagues to study recommendations from critics inside and outside the elections office. The director, Richard Barron, wants more help. He wants a technical manager at each polling place, training, training, training for those volunteer poll workers, and in-person training, not just on video, and somebody to coordinate all those messy absentee ballots that are so problematic. But one big new offer is the State Farm Arena, where the Atlanta Hawks basketball team plays, as a giant polling place the largest in Georgia, perhaps the largest in the country. That could be at least for early voting before the August primary, and if it goes well, they may allow that to go forward, the elections board and the Hawks, for the November election as well. That will be a question about also deciding on how to apply for absentee ballots in the future. But if the Hawks arena is open for all voters in Fulton County to come in and vote, the hope is that will encourage higher turnout among young voters. That is one of the promises of the meeting that's underway now. Live at the Fulton County Courthouse, Sally Sears, CBS 46 News. I'm Karen? sure it would, Sally. Big news there. All right. Thank you so much.